Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. We have seen rally across the global markets on the back of better than expected manufacturing data from China, Eurozone as well as from US. So US markets were up about 0.4 to almost about 0.5% and we are seeing this revival after almost about uh, 5 days of losing streak. And also the jobless claims uh, came in at about 3,36,000 which is again a 6 year low. And the 10 year bond yield in US continues to hover around 2.9%. European markets too were up about 0.5 to almost about 2% on the back of uh, better than expected manufacturing data. And when we look at the Asian markets today morning, uh, Japan is up almost about 2.3% uh, as the yen has actually depreciated to almost about 98 or thereabouts. And uh, most of the other markets are marginally up. Shanghai is up about 0.2%. And uh, SDX Nifty is suggesting that we are going to have a flat start. In terms of flows, FIs were net sellers in the cash market to the tune of about 1278 crore. The domestic institutions were biased to the tune of about 390 crore. And in the index futures, FIs were net sellers to the tune of about 792 odd crore. Back home, we had a smart pullback in our market, though the opening was on a weaker note. And uh, though the FI data doesn't suggest any kind of a meaningful buying, in fact, there was a selling, uh, this particular uh, spike was definitely a bit of a surprise for the markets. And it was essentially led by the metal stocks. So stocks like Tata Steel, Sesa Goa, Sterlight, Hindalco, were the actually stocks which were in limelight. Also, we had seen a good amount of uh, pullback in the IT stocks which were actually subdued for the last two or three days. And in certain banking names, after opening week, uh, we saw a smart pullback. Markets uh, are not showing any kind of a great uh, uh, advance decline number. Uh, the volume is definitely on a higher side. But overall, uh, indications are not uh, that there is going to be a big rally in the market. And as per uh, the market experts, uh, any such rally should be actually used to exit the positions, particularly in the rate sensitive uh, sector like banks. Uh, on that note, let me invite Shaival to take us through important f and cues, data and strategies that we can have in the f and markets. Good morning friends, let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, from last 3 to 4 trading sessions, we have been observing that continuous addition has been taking place in Nifty Futures open interest. But in yesterday's trade, we have seen around 5 lakh shares were reduced in open interest with a significant increase in the cost of carry, which has been clearly indicating that the sharp recovery which we have uh, witnessed in the market in yesterday's trade was majorly due to closure of short positions by market participants. Now, talking about the options activity, now again the tables have turned around with a rise in the market and we have seen that activity has geared up on the put side uh, compared to that of call side and some call options have also witnessed some unwinding. Now 5500 and 5600 call options stands with highest number of shares in the open interest whereas on the put side it's clearly visible that majority of the accumulation has been taking place in 5300 and 5200 put option. Now because of this activity we have seen that the PCR ratio has again shot up from 0.88 to 0.96 and now 5300 is a weekly VWAP we are trading about that so our bias for the market is positive and 5300 would be the important support zone for the market because this is the VWAP as well as 5300 put option stands with the highest number of shares in the open interest and on higher side we feel that the momentum in the market or say the positive breadth in the market would continue up to 5500, 5550 levels. Talking about the stock from intraday perspective back on is looking positive so one can maintain a stop loss of 336 rupees. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, the Finance Minister P. Chidambaram has stated that uh, they are looking at boosting the mining sector, particularly the iron ore mining where the production has come to a complete halt. Uh, they are going to approach the Supreme Court uh, to actually revive the activity so that the exports can be revived and it can help the current account deficit. Uh, the uh, state-owned NHPC is looking at doing a buyback of about 1600 crore instead of going uh, for the offer for sale which was the plan earlier and uh, the government was earlier looking at about divesting 11.36% stake in the company. So this is a bit of a relief for NHPC so one can expect some pullback in the stock and Future Ventures is in the final stages of negotiations to sell its 22.86% stake 
in a brand called and designs india to private equity investors general atlantic for a sum of about 150 to 200 crore mahindra mahindra is looking at launching a strip down or a cheaper version of its uh, suv xuv 500 uh, which is definitely a positive news because there is a good amount of demand for the compact suv and bajaj corp uh, has acquired nomax brand from ozone ayurvedic this particular segment skin care has a total market size of about 342 crore the amount at which the company has done this acquisition is not disclosed but this definitely is a bit of a positive for bajaj corp reliance geo infocom uh, is uh, acquiring the unified license for a total sum of about uh, 1658 crore so uh, this is definitely uh, a logical next step for the company because they have their plans to enter the uh, data and voice segment both initially the 4g services that they are looking at launching so uh, this is definitely a bit of a positive for uh, the reliance industries and lnt shareholders have approved the issue of uh, qip and a declaration of dividend of about 12.33 per share coming to the uh, stock specific news bharti is in advanced stage of discussions to sell off its sri lankan operations to uh, it, it is a lad, so one can go long on Bharti with a stop loss of 306 and a target of about uh, 322 to about 328. JP Associates, uh, finally, we have a news that the company is in the final stages of its deal with Ultratech Cement to sell off its cement plant for a total sum of about 3700 crore. So one can go long on JP Associates with a stop loss of 32.50 and a target of about 35. Excite uh, the uh, Canada based Manulife Financial Services is in advanced talks with uh, Excide uh, to buy 26% stake in the ING Life Insurance, where the company has a stake. So, one can go long on Excide with a stop loss of 124 and a target of about 131 to about 133. That's it from all of us, friends. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday morning.